Okay, I will start our session today. So today I'm going to introduce you how to do project three, which is building vision language model. And this instruction and the, all the related materials are now available in, in KLMS. So you can download and look at it at any time you want. So in this project, you will build a vision language model using the provided data sets in three steps. First, you will train a vision encoder on Cypher 10 data set Next, you will build a text decoder trained on ELI 5 dataset. And then finally, you will combine the trained vision encoder from the first step and the trained text decoder from the second step to create a vision language model, which you will further train using the provided visual instruction tuning dataset, which is instruction tuning um, zip file. And we are providing a minimum baseline performance that you must surpass. And we use Claude free version to implement, to implement a simple vision language model using ResNet 18 as vision encoder and GPT-2 as the de text decoder. And only one linear layer was used to map the output of the vision encoder to the input of the text decoder. And we only trained the linear layer for the vision language model. And when we tested the model on the CoLab environment, it achieved a perplexity of 23.6 on visual instruction tuning test set so your goal is to build a visual language model that surpasses this baseline. So for the project, you will use three data sets. So first, use Cypher 10 data set to train vision encoder. And the second, use ELI 5 data set to train text decoder. And finally, use the provided vision instruction tuning data set for a training vision language model. So this data set contains a total of 1,020 samples and consists of a JSON file and an image, file, image folder. The JSON file includes image names along with the corresponding question and answer pairs, while all the associated images are stored in the image folder. The pre-processing and data loader codes for the three data sets are provided in student ID Python file. So you must use the provided code for pre-processing without any modifications. So only train valid and test samples produced by this code must be used. And for the tokenizers, similar to the project two, use the GPT-2 tokenizer. And we have added a special token image to the tokenizer in student ID Python file. So if you need this special token, for image, please use the one that we added in the code. So do not add additional special token. And also importantly, um, do not use the test set during training. And if you are found to have used a test set for the training, then you will get um, F result, F grade. And for the model, um, you are free to design any vision encoder or language decoder and vision language model, including pre-built models or custom configurations. So there are no restrictions on model architectures and training processes. So it's really up to you. But your code should be runnable without errors with, within the collab free versions. And for the libraries, you should use data set version of 3.1.0 and Transformers version of 4.46.2. And your um, trained visual language model should achieve perplexity lower than 23.6 on the visual instruction test tuning, test tuning data set. So after building your models, you should submit three files for this project. The first one is logic file. So this, um, this part is similar to the previous projects. So, you have to produce logic for the visual instruction test set, um, which is um, where the logics are before applying the softmax function. So this logic file should be a NumPy array with a shape of 20 by 32, 32 by 50257, where the last number is the um, number of the tokenized vocabulary, tokenized vocabulary size. And this logic file name should be named as student ID NumPy. So if your student ID is like this, then it should format named as this. 
So if you happen to um, write your file name wrong, then you will automatically get F score. So this is, um, yeah, because we have like more than like around 300 students and 300 submissions, we cannot use C submission one by one. So if your files are incorrect, then we cannot grade your submissions. So your logics must be directly usable as input logics for the provided test VLM Python file evaluation function to calculate the perplexity. So make sure your NumPy file is compatible with the provided function. <coughs> and if you shuffle the test set, then we cannot properly grade your score. So do not shuffle the test set. Um, Wait, I will mute everyone first. Hmm. Um, so there's a one question in the chat. If the output logic exists, the KLMS upload limit, may we zip the file? So since, yeah, there was a problem in project two about the, um, size of the submission. So we considered that considered that. So this NumPy file would not exceed like even one gigabyte. So it will have no there will won't be any problems on loading your logic files in KLMS. And for the second submission is script file. So this Python um script should pre-process data set and train models and save logic in a single execution. So you should submit the Python file that you use to train the model and then save the logic file. And this Python file should also named with your student ID. Um, and when you run the Python student ID file, you must should fix the seed number to zero for the repro reproducibility by calling the set seed function. So the set seed function looks like this. It this function is already in the provided Python file. So you should call this function at the very beginning of your Python file. And use the pre-processing and data loader codes in the student ID Python file without any modification and use the this predefined Python library versions. And the logits should save in the same should be saved in the same directory. Um, so this the the submitted Python file should save the NumPy file directly without any manual intervention. So for reproducibility, please um, use the set function set seed function to feed six fix the seed to zero. The last submission is your collect file. Where, where you actually run your Python file. So we are providing the student ID of IPython file um, as shown in below. So you must add um, within code cell five to install all the necessary packages with the speci specified versions to ensure reproducibility of your submitted script file. So um, we already um, install the data set and transformers libraries. And if in any cases you need additional libraries, please use um, code cell number five to install any additional libraries. And all the install um, command lines should look like this with uh, specifying the version you want to use. Yeah. Um, yeah, and please do not modify the data set version or the transformer versions. And this NumPy file um, name should be your own student ID. So for the submissions, you should upload the student ID Python file and student ID NumPy file and student ID IPython file to KLMS. So your, your code should not create any folders or compress the files. And your 
make sure that your Python file is runnable without errors within the Colite free versions. And failure to any of the above guidelines, including correct file names or formats, will result in an automatic file. So this is how you can run the Python file on Colab. And this below is exactly the same as the previous projects. So first, you should unload the provided Python file on the Google Drive and open the IPython file and set your runtime time to Python 3 and CPU or GPU. Then in the student ID Python file, you should mount the Google Drive and then verify that the visual instruction tuning data set and your Python script exists in the expected library at uh, the directory. And then unzip the visual instruction data set then ensure that all um, your day, you have 1,020 samples, then install necessary packages, then run your Python file. For the evaluation, we have provided a test VLM Python file to assist your project. So this file includes the evaluation function, which loads your logic file and calculates perplexity using the test set. To use test VLM Python file, um, you should click the folder icon on the left-hand side, then click the upload button, then select the test VLM Python file from your local machine. And this will upload the file to your Colab environment. Then install the necessary packages, and then import the function from the test VLM file using um, this command. Then once you have generated your logics, you can call the evaluation function to check your model's perplexity. Um, yeah, the um, overall code looks like this. So this file will ensure you can evaluate your model's perplexity in Colab using the provided the Python file. So your model will be evaluated using the test VLM Python file, and the perplexity will be calculated and rounded from the one decimal place. So if your test um, results in perplexity of 23.68, then if we round them to the one decimal place, then it will result in 23.7 which is higher than 23.6. So this will result in fail. While 23.61, if we round them, it will be 23.6, so it will be pass. So you will get pass, you will pass if your perplexity is lower than 23.6. And if your perplexity is higher than 23.6, or you did not follow the guidelines, then you will get F score. So only the perplexity calculated using the test VL and Python file will be considered for grading. So all, and if you have any questions, please um, upload them on KLMS um, from today um, 11, 90, uh, 59 a.m. to 11, 59 p.m. So we will not um, answer questions through e emails. We will not answer them. And when you post questions on KLMS, please post them publicly in English so that others can also see them. So we will not answer questions that are in private or in Korean. And before posting your questions, please make sure that you carefully read, read the project guidelines and read answers to KLMS questions posted from other students so that there are no duplicate questions. And also for submissions, any failure to follow any part of the submission guidelines will result in an automatic fail. So no exceptions will be made due to the class size um, ensure your submission strictly follow the retired, we required format. 
So this is all for the project three instructions. So do you have any questions now? Um, um, so I see Nam, questions from Nam Ho Ho and question from Gabriel is private, so only I can see them, maybe? So could you post them on publicly so every other people can see them? Um, question from Chang Min Kang. Unlike project two, could we assume all relevant files are together in the same di yes. Um all relevant files are together in the same directly. Question from Namogo. If we already have passed assignment one and two, including survey, can I feel this was output from the um the question from Namho is no. So you could fail either of assignment one or two, but you should pass assignment three in order to pass this class. So projects are, there are no exceptions in project three. Question from Gabriel, there is no restriction in using pre-trained models similar to project two, right? Yes, no, no, I mean, no, there are no restrictions. So you are free to use any models you want. Next questions. It is correct to conduct all three separate trainings within a single Yes, you should um, go through all the three trainings within a single script. Can we implement the model just like you did using the rest node? Just add more layers and different optimizers. Yes, you can use um, the pre-trained model like I did using the cloud free versions. Yeah, you can use pre-built um pre-built models and do like slight different modifications. Okay, I will wait for two more minutes until 10.51, if there are any other questions. I am coding running cell six, peep, depend to see. Yeah, you can ignore this message as long as the code um, is runnable. Okay, um, are there anyone with any questions? Or if not, I will end our class here. Yeah. I guess, um, yeah, everything is pretty clear. So yeah, all the um, files and instructions are on KLMS, so Please use them and good luck with your project three. Yeah. Thank you.